People often say to me, Rory, I wish I had your life. It looks so cool, man. I want to go on one of those crazy adventures with you. So for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to take you on the wild adventure that I get to call my life. Hey, man. Whoa! Just go! Here we are. Four feet. Yeah. That was great. Go. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> we just jumped in a pool. We just jumped in the pool. What do you want to do with your life? I think that's the question every high school, college kid hates being asked. My dad asked that when I was 18. Fast forward five years, I'm turning 23, fresh out of college, and I have no clue what I want to do with the rest of my life. See, I never put in the time to figure out what I like to do and how I can make that a career. I just kept working job after job and was miserable because that's how I thought it was. Get good grades, go to college, get a degree and get a job. I may have done all that, but I was left feeling empty because I never really understood that question. All this time I was interpreting the question as what job are you gonna do that pays your bills until you die? When it should be, what makes you happy and how can you make that your life? So I'll ask you, what makes you happy? That video right there is the exact reason why I started making videos 15 years ago. I like to have fun with my friends and capture moments of happiness. The thing is, I never realized what made me so happy could take me all over the world, work with people like Martin Garrix, Justin Bieber, and completely transform my life. But the thing is, I wasn't always happy. Imagine yourself on a bridge in the middle of nowhere. You just hiked five miles deep into the woods. It's about 90 degrees out. You're sweating head to toe. And to top it all off, you got the worst cotton mouth of your life. You step up on the edge of this bridge and you're contemplating life. This is where I found myself on my 30th birthday. Yes, I am 30, but that is just a number. So I step up on the edge of this bridge, and I'm thinking, what am I doing here? And I realize nothing else exists except for this moment right here, right now. It made me realize the importance of living in the present moment. This scared me so much, so much that I jumped. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret of mine. I love fear. It's the greatest feeling that I have ever felt. Now before you judge me, or call me crazy, like my mom does, let me explain to you why. Fear makes you feel afraid. And when you're afraid, well, you're alive. You're living, you're breathing, you're in a moment. Show of hands, how many of you have been asked that question, what do you want to do with your life? Every single person. Yes. Um, that question used to haunt me, freaked me out, scared me to death. My dad would ask it, I would squirm, I would do anything to get out of that question. Because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I, I was always trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I was trying to think, you know, what, what am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? What do others want me to be? Growing up, I really liked making videos. And there was a time in my life where I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And my friend said to me, if you call him that, um, when are you gonna stop making those stupid videos and get a real job? That comment affected the next six years of my life. I didn't think making videos could be a possible career, so I did what I was told. I went to college, I got a degree, and I started looking for that dream job, that 40 hour a week job. What do you want to do with your life? I didn't know. But what I did know is, I didn't want some boring nine to five job that was gonna make me not want to wake up every single morning. That was gonna make me so unhappy. That was gonna make me miserable. 
when he told me, you know, stop making those dumb videos, get a real job, like that put fear inside of me. It made me think that your videos are gonna be nothing more than a stupid memory. Before I knew it, I was working eight hours a day, five days a week, and I eventually stopped making videos. I stopped doing the thing that I love, the thing that made me happy. And eventually, I invited demons into my life. I accepted where I was. Um, I'm not proud to admit this, but uh, I gave up on myself. I, uh, I stopped dreaming, or as I like to say, I woke up. And uh, I started to fill a water bottle full of vodka every morning before work. And I would take it to work, and I would drink it to numb the pain that I was in. This is actually the first time I've ever spoken about it to anyone, so it's, uh, I wasn't living anymore. I was, I was, you know, I was just existing. I was scraping by. I, uh, I was just trying to survive for tomorrow, hoping things would get better. I was sick of who I was. I didn't have fun anymore. Worst of all, it wasn't fun to be around. I had this friend, good friend, who came over, and he, he saw talent in the videos I had. And he was like, man, we should make a YouTube series. I'm funny, or he was funny, and I was good at making videos. You know, I could tell stories. We could come up with this great concept, but we could be awesome. We could be big. I didn't see, I didn't listen to a single word he said. The whole time I was just like, man, I hate my job. I don't have a girlfriend. Uh, I don't really want to wake up tomorrow to go to work. My life is terrible. All, I kept saying all these negative things, and he kept telling all these positive things about me. And all I had to do was listen. I was too stubborn. After he left, I didn't see him again for three years. He wouldn't return my calls, wouldn't return my texts. Finally, one day, I just hit him up and I was like, yo, dude, why'd you stop talking to me? And he goes, to be honest with you, man, you have so much negative energy in your life. I, I can't stand to be around you. You're going to bring me down with you. I was living in fear. I wasn't using it to my advantage. Then there was this moment, a shift in my perspective that changed everything for the best. I was holding my nephew, I was looking down at him, and his mom comes over and she's like, oh, do you wanna be like Uncle Rory when you get older? And I thought to myself, I hope this kid is never like me when he gets older. I hope he never feels what I feel when he gets older. I hope he doesn't think that he's a loser when he gets older. It was in that moment that I knew I needed to make a change. I was sick of wasting my life. I wanted to be a role model for my nephew. Perspective saved my life. And that's all fear is, it's just perspective. I'm thankful for all the mistakes that I've made in my life and all the struggles I've had because I realize it's not your reality that shapes you, but it's your lens that views the world that shapes your reality. And if you can change your lens, then you can change your happiness. So I started, I changed how I was thinking. I changed the way I was looking around at things. I started focusing on the things that made me inspired. People that were living their lives the way they wanted. My nephew, my family, my friends. I started making videos again. And these videos, they were action packed, life inspired. They had these voiceovers that were gonna make you grab life and just say you could do anything that you set your mind to. Because I wanted people to live the life that they wanted to live. I wanted myself to live the life that I wanted to live. What is success? If you look it up in the dictionary, it's defined as the fact of getting or achieving wealth, respect, or fame. When I was growing up, I thought just that. Success was how much money you had, what kind of car you drove, or how many friends you had. Those kind of things. But now, I consider success to be when you're drowned in the fear of the unknown of a difficult task, and you listen to the voice in your head that screams how bad you want to see it through. 
and he's stopping nothing, blocking out that fear that keeps most of us on the ground, risking everything until you reach the end. That's how I define success. Two years after I started making videos like that, my videos caught the attention of a DJ that goes by the name of Blau. He saw my videos and he asked me to come film one of his shows. And at the time, it was the greatest moment of my life. He flew me across to the country on a plane ticket that I didn't have to pay for, put me up in a hotel, took me to a dinner, paid for every single thing. Brought me to the show and he's like, I love your videos, man, do your thing. Do anything you want. Next thing I know, I'm jumping off a stage with him. We're crowd surfing. I'm capturing all these moments of happiness. The music is awesome. And to top it all off, I'm getting paid to put together a video for him. After that, it was back to dealing with the life that I've been living. This is how I ended up on that bridge. It was my way of dealing with my old life, my old self, my old perspective. I signed up to go bungee jumping. This was a, a metaphor of taking a leap of faith for me. <laughs> to be honest, when I stepped up on the edge of that bridge, I was thinking about everything in my life, and it, I was so scared. I had so much fear in my life, and that's when I shut my eyes and I said to myself, run it. And I jumped head first, pretending to kill the old Rory. Run it is this phrase that I say to myself every time I want to do something that makes me happy, but my brain tries to put fear inside of me to prevent me from doing it. So when I say run it, it's my way of saying, yo, fear, you can go find somebody else because I'm going to do what I want right here, right now. Remember how I said people say, I wish I had your life, Rory? It's true. I do get messages every day from countless kids around the world saying, Rory, I wish I had your life. And I get it now because I was those kids. I was that email. I used to live in fear, but not any more. After I jumped off that bridge, I changed the way I was thinking. I was like, I will never take another job based on money. I will only work on projects that I am passionate about. So I called my boss of four and a half years, right then and there, and I told him I quit. After that, I started touring with Blau. We were going everywhere. And to be honest with you, I was working longer hours than I was at the job before. I was working every single weekend, staying up all night. But the thing is, I loved it. It never felt like work. I know this is the cheesiest quote of all, but I'm gonna quote it. If you love what you do, it will never, you'll never feel like you're working. That's not it. If you love what you do, it'll never feel like you're, it's, yeah, you got it. Never work a day in your life. You'll never, yeah, there you go. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Third time's a chunk. And after I was happy, it all happened so fast. The next thing I know, I'm touring the U.S. with Martin Garrix, one of the most famous DJs in the world. I'm working with Corella. I'm working with the Chainsmokers. I got asked to film Justin Bieber. And for the record, the guy's pretty cool. I even got asked to make the new Avicii music video. And when I say I got asked to make the new Avicii music video, they literally asked me to make a video about my life. I couldn't believe it. I still don't believe it. Me, Rory Kramer, make a video for Avicii on how I live my life? The video's got over 60 million views. Now, I'm not bragging about any of this. I'm simply saying life is cool when you live it. And then it hit me. Perspective. All these people wanted to work with me and be around me because I was happy. I was full of life. People think of that I'm not afraid of anything because I jump off cliffs as a form of meditation. But um, the truth is, 
I love fear. I love the way it makes me feel. It makes me feel alive. It's, it's just, it's simply the greatest feeling because I know when fear comes over me, it means I desperately want something. It's, I want, I want to see it through. I know it's going to make me happy. And that's when I say to myself, run it, and I do it anyways. Because I know at the end of the day, it's what I want. And nothing's going to stop me from getting it. Now I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. Think about all the things that make you happy. Think about all the times that you felt alive. Think about all those times that fear took over your body and didn't allow you to be happy. Think about the times fear prevented you from doing something. You can open your eyes. Now I encourage everyone to find what they love to do, to be happy. I'm not saying to not go to college, drop out of school, and start making videos. I'm saying that happiness is a choice, and it's controlled by your perspective. My old perspective was fear prevents you from doing what makes you happy. Once I learned that fear only comes around when you want to do something, life became easy. It's only been 11 months since I learned about the power of perspective. Sometimes I find myself wishing I would have learned about it earlier because then maybe I wouldn't have wasted four and a half years at that job I wasn't passionate about. But that's the thing. My struggles took me to the bottom where I stumbled upon my strengths. Without them, I probably wouldn't be here talking to all of you guys. Those times I felt lost, they keep me grounded and on the right path. And as I love to say, you got to get a little lost before you find yourself. So embrace fear. Make mistakes. Because we all make them. And we're going to. We're human. But don't be afraid to learn from your mistakes. Dream big. Don't stop dreaming. Create the life that you want to live. Love yourself. Leave here with a perspective that will make for a better tomorrow. I am proof that being yourself and being happy, doing what you love will make you happy. So do what you love and be happy. You will inspire others to do that, and together we'll change the world. To be honest, I uh, didn't really want to be here today. I uh, was looking for every excuse to not show up. I've never given a speech before. It's not what I do, but um, it has always been a dream of mine. I don't know when I came up with it, but it was like, I want to go to a high school one day and give a motivational speech that can hopefully inspire others to dream. And I knew that I wanted, I wanted it, so that's when I said to myself, run it. Thank you.